guys look great. Ready to serve. Rig for dive. We brought it alive this weekend, so. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Uh, started the engines up. Diesel, yeah. diesel fumes all over the place. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We have uh, we have a guy who uh, who served aboard uh, Seattle class submarine. Okay. And he still maintains the engine and yeah. he's teaching a, a younger guy to take yeah. over when he's yeah. said and done. Keep them all operating? Yeah, all yeah, four right. operate. Yep. They ran two, the, the, the AF2 today and then uh, they alternate. Whenever they start them, they'll alternate. So the next time they start them would be the, the forward two. Well, I'm a surface guy, so these guys just consider me a target. That's <laughs> all right. like the, 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 the submariners say there's only two types of ships in the Navy. There's submarines and there's targets. Yep. <laughs> Take a walk around. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You want to go below? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Slightly. <laughs> Finally, now that I'm retired, they finally get me to come over on this side. Ain't that, <laughs> ain't that about how it works with those two? Yeah. I'm from the Detroit area originally, so I, I come back to Michigan on leave occasionally to see my mother, who's 92 there. But hey, thanks for stopping. Excuse me, yeah. the marine is late. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a Submariner's beard on. He does. He looks good. Yeah, this sorry, guy. That's a good control. afternoon. This guy looks good afternoon. Really good. Oh, ich bin that's a real Gerhard Kramer, yeah, ein Torpedo, a torpedo Mechanica. Oh. Und ein former Marine. Oh. Oh. First, 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 first Marine. battalion, third Marines out in Kaneohe. But pleasure to meet you, yeah, good to meet you. Welcome aboard. Well, and the thing is that's that's really interesting that I found interesting is the fact that on the U.S. subs there were enough racks for all of the crew. Yeah, yeah. But on the German, yeah, on the German subs it was not the case. Forty-eight men and twenty-four racks. <laughs> well, nowadays you know our nuclear submarines have more than one hundred crew members, but they send a lot of extra fighters. So they put intelligent people, whatever on there. So there, there's guys hot racking all the time. Guys. So they're sleeping. They're, they're making fake racks in the torpedo room. There, you know, they, you get it from midnight till 6 a.m. and then you go on watch. Another guy comes off, puts his sheets on there, and yep. takes over. So return. Uh, <laughs> no hygiene. Yep. Happy to be in the U.S., but it's it's good to good to see both perspectives at that time. So what do you so what do you think great. about all this? Yeah, no, it's great. Got they've done, they've done a great job. Uh, so we're like, we want to do torpedo mechanics. So we we're like. So we've been just been chatting with people up about torpedoes. Yeah. That it's no, now you've served for how many years? 32. 32? Okay. Um, but I'm a service guy. I mean, okay. I've ridden submarines, but like for two days. It's just yeah. enough to get the feeling. Do you enjoy yeah. your yeah. tour farther back? Time on her. She's, yeah. she's beautiful. Oh, yeah. When they leave. <laughs> Surgeries. Is this for dinner? Yes. <laughs> ah, alles klar here? Yeah, alles klar. Go good. Yeah, he's telling about about his dinner utensils here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of ether. <laughs> Below our feet, each one weighing about 1,600 pounds. Oh. <laughs> so there's a lot of weight of batteries on board this boat. A little officer staterooms. <laughs> No, the CO's no, quarters are. That's CO. It's just right the captain's. There. The right. captain's got the yeah. gauges on the wall. He's got his one. Uh, <laughs> he's all by himself. <laughs> yeah, he gets some privacy. Let me get out of your way. Yeah, so he can see the depth in the heading. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah, he can see the depth in the heading, exactly. about my depth, but I did always wonder where my heading was. I mean, yeah. I had a radar screen in there, area. Yeah. Oh. And that he's still available to It's where the ship's orders were issued. Oh, yeah? Okay, okay. so give him... Okay. 
Yeah, this is the admin okay. office. Oh, exactly. Probably one YM, maybe two YM. Yeah. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere nice. I mean, I'm yeah, resisting yeah. the the alarms. I'm resisting that the hell out of that. There you go. So a lot of the stuff in this room actually is still functional. So hmm. on the starboard side here, all of the high pressure air system is still 100% functional. We can still blow the tanks. Um, today we actually ran two of the engines. Yeah. Um, so we use the compressed air to send air back to the engines to yeah. cool them for um, well for starting and to send cooling water. Um, most of the hydraulics are no longer operational, um, simply because we don't really have a need for them. <laughs> Although if we really wanted to, we probably could make them operational again. Um, but at this point, it's mostly you know cosmetic restoration and things like that that are going into it, and then we keep the things running that um, need to keep yeah. running, essentially. Below our feet is the pump room. So two air compressors, 50 horsepower each below, four stage, um, capable of 3,000 PSI. Trim pump, drain pump, hydraulic pump, anything that's basically a pump is below our feet. Um, air conditioning plants, refrigeration plants, everything like that is, is down there. Okay. So it's a very uh, cramped space. <laughs> um, it's not a very desirable place uh, yeah. to be, especially at this point. Um, but above our heads is a con, so do, would you like to go up there yeah. and see it? <laughs> that's my job. Yeah. Make our ass look good. So what you are seeing is the conning tower of the Silverside submarine. It is currently under restoration. Uh, what you see is mostly original from 1945, almost untouched. Um, our volunteers here, who help us out a lot, are restoring the conning tower to uh, what it would have been like exactly in 1945. So excuse our mess, but essentially what you are looking at is the command center of the submarine. So when the captain was on duty, this is where he would be if they were submerged. Um, as you look around, you'll see a lot of different equipment, some of the most important equipment on board the submarine, and the, probably the most two or the two most iconic pieces of equipment on board any submarine are the periscopes, okay? So the Silver Sides has two periscopes, one general observation periscope and one attack periscope. Now, um, the attack periscope is retracted down, so you cannot see the optics on it, but uh, most people don't realize that there are actually two periscopes on board. If you look all the way forward, you will notice a big wheel. That is actually the boat's primary helm, or the boat's primary steering wheel. Um, so these are the torpedo firing panels, the fire control panels. So aft torpedo room has four torpedo tubes, forward torpedo room has six torpedo tubes, okay? Um, so they would fire from up here, actually. They could be fired from the torpedo rooms also. Uh, I'll get it, I'll see. This way? Yeah. Right. Cruise mess. Hello. <laughs> mess deck, galley. Yeah. Underneath us is uh, some ammunition. food storage, ammunition ready, or ammunition locker there. Yeah. Um, cool room and freezer are below your feet there. Um, there's an ammunition scuttle there to go back up to the deck gun so they can pull from the, the locker down oh, okay. there. Um, yeah, so anything that needs to stay cool, but underneath your feet. <laughs> Yep, cruise quarters, technical name, half the battery. This is where the other half of the battery self was stored, down below the deck. Berthing for about 33 or 34 guys in here. Enlisted heads on your starboard side there. Showers and sinks on the port side. Half hour or so. It's still a little warm. Probably. It took a special breed of men to be able to, to handle it. Um, the cool thing about the server size is when she was mothballed in the late 40s and brought to Navy Pier, she was stocked with a full complement of spare parts. 
uh, many of which we still have on board, and that's how we keep her going. Um, and our supply is obviously uh, dwindling now, but we um, do have enough that if anything breaks, we can generally get it going again yeah. and get it fixed. minute shifts of standing watch while the other guys were fighting the fire and I think it took them three or four hours to get the fire out but you know obviously they they <laughs> they ended up making it which is miraculous it's, it's really amazing that we're still standing on this thing for everything that it went through um, it's sort of crazy Excellent. yeah They cut it right in the center where the torpedoes would have been loaded down, but we still have the forward one intact. Yeah. yeah.